Hey there, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's your first time here. My name is Erin and welcome to this week's episode of Hashtag Friday Sews. It's been three weeks since my last Friday Sews and it feels like forever. <laughs> it has been a minute. Um, I'll talk about why in the life section, but if you've been following me for any amount of time, you know that we just moved. So I think that kind of explains itself. Um, I do have a wee one down here that you might hear during the video because she doesn't really want to nap. Napping is just not her thing anymore most of the time. So uh, she's going to be my little assistant, my, my producer, as it were. Uh, thank you so much to Jen from Today and Jen Sewing Room for starting this hashtag that lets us all get together on YouTube every week to talk about what we've been working on, what we're going to be working on, and life. Um, I am so behind. I am so behind on watching videos. So I'm really excited now that we're getting a little more settled and I can sew, that I can just sit down, put videos on, sew, catch up with what everyone is doing because I really, really, really missed watching videos and interacting with everyone. So to get going, um, I only have one make. Yeah. So I don't even have it. I sent it. It was a dress for Project Dresser Girl. Um, I don't think it's going to make it there until Monday is the prediction, but I, I got one made. I wanted to make more, of course, but I got one done and sent it off. So, uh, that is my one make for the past, like three weeks, but I have videos that I will insert here. I used the Ollie and S popover sundress, which I think a lot of people used for theirs because it is a great, super simple pattern, um, meets the requirements. I did add patch pockets that I modified from a pattern, um, a toddler pattern. Um, so I, yeah, I added those patch pockets and yeah, that is, that is all I've made. I think it turned out really cute. I think my plan for next year slash throughout this next year is every time I make something for Brady, my little one, um, I will make a project dress girl dress legit clothes, not like pajamas. Cause I have to make her a lot more pajamas. She is in need of them. But so anytime I make her a romper or a dress or something like that, um, I can whip up an all in that popover dress for project dress a girl and then already have them done next year. So that is my plan just for project dress a girl in general. Uh, things this week, we did go to Joanne's today. Brady and I did our new local Joanne's check it out. It's, it's fine. It's all right. You can tell it's kind of an older one. Um, I couldn't tell who works there because no one wears like Joanne's stuff. Um, so like these people were randomly just like hanging around behind the cutting counter, which is great. Cause then there was always someone there, but there were like four people there just hanging out in regular clothes, like t-shirts and jeans. Turns out they all worked there. Um, the other nice thing about it was they cut remnants bigger than a yard. My, the two old Joanne's I used to go to in San Antonio, you would never find more than a yard. A yard, you were lucky if you found a yard. So that's nice. I saw up to like 1.25 yards. So that is actually really nice. Um, but we went there because it was a Simplicity sale this weekend and I wanted to get Simplicity 2788, which one of my viewers, Michelle, recommended uh, for Brady's Halloween costume because I said I wasn't sure what I was going to do. We want to do something that she really likes, but um, she doesn't watch TV or anything yet. So she, there's not like a character she's super into, but she loves B-L-U-E berries a lot. So I'm going to use Vue D and make her a B-L-U-E berry costume. If I say it, she'll want them. So uh, I went to get that. I didn't buy the material and everything for it yet because I want to sit down and really look at the pattern first, but I got that. And then in the clearance section, they had this cotton jersey from the pop line. It was like $3 and 64 cents a yard or something. So I got two yards, which is more than I need, but I'm going to make her a uh, little Ellie and macro with me pajamas for Halloween because we are definitely a Halloween. Family. Yes, the ghosts. We can go over what all of these things are when you're wearing them. Yeah. Um, the other sewing related stuff I've been working on is my sewing room. Uh, it is still in need of some organization, a decent amount of organization, but I got it painted, 
my machine is up and running. Both of my machines are good to go. They survived the trip and I can actually get to sewing now. Um, so that is super, super exciting. Plans for next week. Uh, Brady needs pajamas, like bad. She has two pairs that are about, about done that really need to come out of rotation. Um, so I, I already have some cut that I just need to sew up because she needs more pajamas, including, can I have this please? I'll give it back to you in just a second. Um, Berta 9312, these uh, U pants are almost done. I just need to finish them up and then I have a top cut to go with them and some other Ellie and I grow with me pajamas ready to go. They're cut, they were in my um, moving sewing plans video. And obviously approximately almost none of that happened. Those are my plans and then there's some like fall stuff I want to make to hopefully get up onto our Etsy shop in the next little bit and yeah I have so many things cut and I just want to sew them all so we'll see what my we'll see what my heart desires and what I do that's all that's all sewing related I have in terms of life we are in our new house um we are loving it we are settling in here in Ocean Springs, Mississippi. Right. We love it. We we really, really like it. We were in San Antonio previously and we didn't, it just wasn't for us. You know, some places just aren't for you. It was not for us. We feel like Ocean Springs is for us. We really, really liked it here. Um, my mother-in-law was with us for about three weeks. She was here through the move and then my father-in-law came for a week. Um, I was going to have more time between them taking our stuff and delivering our stuff in which I was planning to sew. But on Friday, when they were loading everything up, a couple Fridays ago, when they were loading everything up, yeah. the driver was like, hey, I'm delivering it to Mississippi on Monday and it's gonna go into storage. They're gonna unload it off the truck, unwrap everything that's wrapped, like not boxed, all our furniture and stuff would be unwrapped from the blankets, sit there for just a couple of days and then we put on another truck, rewrap, put on another truck, etc." cetera. Um, but he was like, if you have access to your house already and you can meet me on Monday, I will just bring it directly to you, which was a an immediate yes from me. So Brady and my mother-in-law and Copper and I loaded up and drove to Mississippi and got here. Um, it was only like a nine hour drive, but we did it in two days because of the dog and the baby. Um, got here and we're here Monday morning to get all of our stuff. So we ended up not going very long at all without our stuff. And then we hit the ground running with unpacking and painting and projects that we wanted to get done in our new house. This is my sewing room. I think I'm going to have a tour up. If I can film it this weekend, I'll put it up next week on Wednesday. Um, it, it works. It feels bigger now that I've painted it. There is not a ton of space, but there's more than I had, and it's enough. It's perfect. Um, my mother-in-law and I painted six rooms. We painted basically the whole house. All of the walls were agreeable gray, which is a perfectly agreeable color, but I didn't want gray in my whole house. So we painted six rooms, two of them being pretty large. And then I painted this one right after they left. All that's left is the hallway and the two bathrooms. And I think the guest bathroom we might actually leave gray. And then we will paint the others and be done. We got everything unpacked. We got a security system installed. We built garage shelving. We cleaned. We did a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton. So that is what we were working on basically from sunup to sundown um, the whole time. Basically since we, since we got here until we left last Sunday. So this week was the first week of just Brady and I. Adam is at work. She's she's very chatty. Hopefully that doesn't bother anyone. If it does, you don't have to watch, but she does have a lot to say these days. So I'm trying to think coherently, but I'm really struggling with that because it's been so long since I made a video. Um, yeah, now we're just, we're finding homes for things. We're figuring out storage and how we want things to be, but we're almost there. It took Brady and I all of Monday to organize the utility closet, mostly because I did like deep organization, um, like all the random screws and bolts and stuff I put together in baggies. 
Um, but the problem with that is I would take, you know, 10 bolts and put them in the baggie and somehow Brady would pull out 11 more from nowhere. So, as, so yeah, we are settling in and then marathon training, the other big thing in my life, I guess, is going well. I, I was discombobulated, missed quite a few runs in the first two weeks around when we moved. So yeah, I missed quite a few runs in the first two weeks after we got here, but I ran a couple times. Um, but I was able to get back on track this past week, hit all my training runs and still felt really good. So I was super worried I would lose a ton of fitness because for some reason with running, man, you just, at least I lose it fast if I don't keep running. But um, I ran enough that I still feel really good. I have a two hour run this weekend that we will, we'll see how it goes. But um, I think it'll be fine. I feel, I feel great back on track. I had a run last night that was about five miles and it was, yeah, it just felt really good. It's so nice to run here as compared to San Antonio. Um, so yeah, that is, that is about it. Brady loves her new house and her new backyard. Copper loves his new backyard. Adam really likes his uh, new position here. We are just loving it. We're so happy. And now I get to sell again because all of my stuff is here. It's all set up. This room. One last thing. If you saw our Name That Notion video, um, it came out two, two and a half weeks ago or so. Adam and I played this game I made up called Name That Notion where he guessed sewing notions. And it was so fun. Um, a lot of people commented that it was really fun to watch and people were so kind. Um, Adam is a great sport. He's a wonderful, wonderful sport about things like that. We had a lot of fun doing it. Um, he really appreciates all the kind comments that people have made. And yeah, I think he did really well. I was pretty impressed. I might have to come up with some harder stuff for him. I thought I, I mean, they were pretty well. Anyway, uh, so we really appreciate all the nice comments. Um, it was a fun video. And like I said in that one, if you have someone in your life, spouse, partner, friend, kid, I'm not gonna have Brady do it, but <laughs> um, anyone in your life that you think would enjoy it, definitely play it and make a video or just play it for fun by yourself at home. Um, it it was funny, it was really fun for us. So I think that does it. That probably, I mean, I don't have a lot to talk about besides painting everything. I will insert video of a couple of my, a couple of the rooms and how they're coming along, especially, um, oh, oh my gosh, I need to talk about this. I love to read. I'm a big reader, have loved to read my entire life. And when I was a kid, I always wanted to have a library when I grew up. And now I do. We had this like front room. I think it was supposed to be a dining room. So I have a library now. I wish I had a fireplace and I wish I had a million more books, but that would mean moving a million books every couple of years, which I don't want to do. But anyway, um, I will definitely insert video of that. Nothing in the house is really like styled yet. We're still very much getting shelves put up, figuring out which frames are gonna go where, all that kind of stuff. But um, I did get the walls in the library done because I was just really excited to see my vision come to life. And it is exactly what Adam and I envisioned when we talked about it and I love it. So I will definitely put video of that and maybe video of a couple other rooms. And then like I said, I'm gonna do a of my new sewing room. Hint, um, I really like friends. So I decided to kind of use that as a theme. But that does it for this week's episode of Friday Sews. Thank you so much for joining my producer, Brady and I. Okay. It feels so nice to be making a video again and I so am looking forward to talking to you guys in the comments. I have really, really missed it. So I will talk to you in the comments this week and um, I will hopefully see you on Wednesday with that tour. And if not, I will see you next Friday because we are back on track, people. Back on track, getting back into our routine and our schedule and everything is so good. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I hope you get to sew some if that's what you want to do or explore. We will probably be mostly exploring our new home. Um, yeah. Have a great, great weekend and I will see you guys soon. Thanks.